Hi, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we'll discuss one exam question related to triangular plane, which is given as with the name 30 degree 60 degree set square, whose longest side is given to us. So let us take the example directly. A 30 degree 60 degree set square ABC with longest side AB equals to 75 mm is so kept that the side AB is in HP and makes an angle of 30 degree to VP. Also the surface of the set square is 45 degree inclined to HP. Draw the projections of the set square. So let's write down the given data first. The first thing 30 degree 60 degree set square ABC longest side AB equals to 75 mm. Then Side AB is in HP, making an angle of 30 degree to VP. This is second given data. And third, surface of the set square is 45 degree inclined to HP. That is theta equals to 45 degrees. Now, let us revise the procedure which we have discussed in previous video. Step number one, find surface angle and neglect it. See, surface becomes parallel to HP or VP. So this is our surface angle theta equals to 45 degree. If you neglect this angle, then the two shape will be visible in top view because the plane becomes parallel to HP. Then the second step, draw true shape in top view, keeping reference that is side AB to the left hand side. Here, this is the longest side AB, which is in HP and making an angle phi equals to 30 degree. With whom the second angle is given, you have to remember to take that reference on the left hand side while drawing the true shape. Then the third step, draw the front view now, then redraw the front view again, but adjust into previous, but considering the surface angle that is theta. Then you have to use the projectors to complete the top view, then redraw the top view again, but putting the given reference that is side AB at an angle phi. Lastly, the st seventh step that is finally draw the front view using the projectors. Let us draw the 2D solution for this question now. Taking x, y line, vertical projector. Before starting with the true shape, here I have some possible cases which can be the true shape, but all of them are not correct. As you can see here, the reference which should be taken on the left hand side, that is side AB, with whom the another angle is given, should be on the left. So here, as you can see in these two diagrams, on the left, we have the corners, not the side, and the same case is here. So these three are wrong, whereas these two have a side on the left, so both are correct. You can take any one of this. I'll take the second one. You can take the first one also. Whatever solution I'm getting, you'll get the mirror image of it. So I have a drawn line now. I have taken some distance. See, in the question, this distance is not mentioned. How much in front this side is, it's not mentioned. But it is also not mentioned that any of the point is in VP. Unless and until something is given on VP, you are not allowed to have the top view on XY line. So this distance, you can assume whatever you want. This is a 75 mm side we have, which is given to us. Then 30 degree, 60 degree is given to us. So I'm taking 30 degree, drawing a line, 60 degree from this side, drawing another line, completing this triangle, naming it ABC. Then proceeding to another view, that is our front view. Using the projectors, we can name them. A dash, B dash will be on the same projector. C will be on this side. Then you have to draw the same view again. That is the third step, but considering the angle now. So this is the angle theta. Always consider the surface angle first. Then you have to draw this front view again with the same dimension, naming it, taking the projectors down, and from the top view, intersections will give you the names. A and B are on this line, and A is on this line here. B is on this line. So you get this points A1, B1, C1. Names has to be changed because the dimensions are changing. Joining them in the sequence completes the second top view. Now, the next step is to keep this top view, that is redraw this top view again, but considering the angle phi. Taking the point A1, 
given angle phi which in our case is 30 degrees drawing the line then taking compass distance in the compass a1 b1 as a radius and you have to keep your compass at this a1 now and cut an arc name this point as b1 make it dark then take your compass again take distance a1 c1 in your compass keep compass on a1 here now draw an arc again take distance b1 c1 in your compass as radius keep your compass on b1 intersect that arc name it as c1 complete the triangle then take the projectors up and from the front view obtain the intersection points here you will get a1 dash here you will get b1 dash and here c1 dash join them in sequence and this completes your last final front view so this was all about this question this is one of the exam questions which has been asked hope you have enjoyed the video if you haven't subscribed my channel yet or you are new to my channel then don't forget to subscribe it like and share my videos with your friends thank you for watching